hello everyone welcome in my channel esp.net core today i'm going to show you the next video tutorial of birth certification system that is uh, in this project i am uh, actually um, just adding some things in in the project uh, the first thing to add that is the role uh, by in the register.cshtml file so just open and after the result.succeed you can add user manager.add to role async in which you can add a role of the user that is who is signed up into the project that is the default a user because admin is already created in the db initializer class in the previous video tutorial so uh, who is uh, anybody uh, signed up into the project that is the default is user so just after that you can add a new controller uh, in the project and uh, uh, so just open add a new controller and that is the controller is related to the child registration form so select a model that is the child registration form a child registration form uh, class or you can say the model have some properties related to the child registration form that is the name father name mother name etc so uh, also hold two other properties that is application user id and the status id so apply how to get application user id i mean to say that uh, before uh, doing before filling that form uh, must to uh, use uh, or you can say must to add a member of the project or you can say uh, uh, before doing anything in the uh, in the project must to authenticate uh, authenticate uh, user so use authorize attribute and uh, in the child registration form you can add roles that is the user and administrator and user and administrator both are access that page but the anonymous user does not access that page okay that thing is too much simple so now just uh, you can uh, add uh, a user single user in the project that is a child registration forms of index and you you got at a uh, login and you can say authentication page so add a email id and the password and the confirmation password by using this you can directly login into the system and also add a new role to the uh, to that uh, user uh, jacob and create a new birth certification when uh, when creating a uh, or you can say fill any uh, child registration form that two things is needed that is application user id and and the status id but uh, in the get section of the create uh, does not need so just remove it because uh, how to get application user id when user logged in into the system then easily get uh, the application user id and the status is the default is the pending so first of all uh, add a status id or you can say a status uh, status class or you can say status controller into the system so before adding status uh, controller into the project must add or you can say uh, before uh, adding uh, status controller in the project add user manager for the ge for getting user id into the system so user manager application user id and user manager and uh, by user manager you, you get at the user id or you can say get a logged in user id uh, logged in user of their id okay so just add uh, child registration form dot application user id equals to user manager dot get user id uh, uh, bracket http context that is the current logged in user dot user so uh, Mm, so uh, the next thing is to add the status id and before uh, adding status id into the project must to add a new controller that is related to the status and where you got a status uh, controller and generate uh, uh, related to the status class and you can choose status model uh, so add controller and the views uh, related to the uh, status that is the index create details delete that all uh, other uh, um, uh, action methods that is default uh, scaffolding 
so add a new status in, uh, in the project that is the title of the status that is the pending that uh, the pending uh, uh, approved and the last one is the discard so three uh, status uh, add into the project that is pending uh, approved and discard so uh, how to get uh, the uh, uh, pending uh, title you can say pending title id uh, and fill that id and you or you can say to that assign that id to the uh, status id of the to the child registration form so context dot status dot first or default x tends to x dot uh, title is double equals to pending yeah that is and dot select there is not available dot you can say that get id so id you uh, you have to got but uh, so uh, taking a variable name uh, where you can pass that uh, type of things uh, like where uh, status by using status you you get id uh, child registration form dot uh, status id equals to status dot id status dot id that that is easy okay and the next thing you can do to fill that uh, child registration form uh, after doing this okay so navigate uh, to the child registration form and uh, the child name father name mother name gender city address and uh, and the status id is automatically filled into the system and application user id is automatically filled into the system so that is the thing is too easy and you have to check there is the mother name father name gender gender is not there so uh, just add html dot get enum select list and where you can pass enum variable uh, name of the enumeration that is the gender and you can easily get the male female and uh, etc et if you uh, have some uh, fields in the uh, enumeration again uh, just go to that section child registration form male female is not there so just uh, father name is xyz mother's name is xyz gender is not uh, getting from the enumeration so just check enumeration uh, in the class of uh, model that is the child registration form so just open child registration form yeah enumeration is uh, empty so just male female and others okay so just save it and again uh, yeah uh, just go to that section child registration form smith xyz mother's name is xyz city is new york and uh, address is uh, new york any city uh, that is new york city and uh, one two three four there is the pin code number and the hospital name okay that's that's cool to add application user id and status id thank you very much for watching this video you got that in the edit section application there is two application user id so just remove and fixes that errors thank you very much